Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Johnny and today we're going to be playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO for the PlayStation 3 and 2023. So one thing that I want to mention right off the bat, the servers are now offline for the PlayStation 3 so you can only play with the bots on the PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, we're not able to play with anyone online but I remember when this game was online that you could play with other people. Um, and it was definitely Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO as you guys may know this game has become really popular on PC and then a lot of people still play it to this day Unfortunately, it got taken off on the PlayStation 3 uh, For the servers um, Steam no longer supports it and it no longer got updates either way as well uh, One thing that I want to mention that what was really interesting with the PlayStation 3 version was that you can actually connect your mouse and keyboard and play with it so today we're going to be testing it out with the controller and we're also going to be testing it out with the mouse and keyboard. One thing I have to mention is that I'm going to be playing with online bots because uh, it did have offline bots that you could play with. Um, and as you guys can see, I'll probably put a video of me actually playing with it with the controller and then I'll probably switch over to the... Um, as well over to the mouse and keyboard so you guys can see how it actually works with the mouse and keyboard I think it has an option where you can actually s use uh, to s change the stuff for the mouse and keyboard WASD walk and duck fire mouse one so that is really cool that they actually gave you the options to do a lot of stuff with that as well the sensitivity and everything is there as well uh, then you got your wireless controller as well but one of the cool things that you could even play with the PlayStation Move Sharpshooter or the PlayStation Move. I unfortunately do not have that at the moment, but you could also play with those controllers. It gave you a lot of options, believe it or not, to actually play with all these different controllers. Uh, so yeah, I don't even think you can get all the trophies online because you can only do offline as the online and is no longer in service. So one thing that I don't know how this game actually runs... I, honestly, I think it actually runs a little bad, believe it or not. I think it was 1080p or 30 FPS or 720 FP, uh, with 30 FPS. I think it's around there. I'll probably have to look it up. Um, but uh, you can see that you can choose random maps. So let's go ahead and start with uh, medium bots, I guess. Um, and let's just see how it actually performs as we are playing it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the best performance, so don't expect it to be like the most high quality game that you're going to be playing because by no means it's going to be the best. It's actually loading up pretty quick. Um, it's installed to the hard drive. I don't think they actually made a physical disk uh, for it, but it is installed on the hard drive. It actually loaded up pretty quick. Well, then again, I'm, I am offline. Um, and then you can auto select which team you choose. Um, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think this is definitely running at 30 oh, FPS, oh, believe it or not. Um, and this is kind of like the gun game, I believe. Well, gun game, we, I call it gun game. Yeah, the aiming was kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I still got killed by somebody there. But yeah, the aiming felt weird. It still feels weird. Probably need to turn off the sensitivity, but it feels super weird. I don't remember how I used to play this. Um, many people criticize the controls as being bad to play this game. But honestly, back in the day when I used to play it, um, the controls felt fine to me. The controls felt fine to me, in my opinion. Uh, they weren't that bad. Uh, let me see what the... Was there a melee? Yes. Okay, you can switch your weapons with that. And then you can also, with the R2, you can like reverse, kind of like the PC, I guess. But it doesn't feel bad. I don't understand why people were criticizing it. I guess if you're used to a mouse and keyboard, you probably would uh, play this differently. But yeah, you know, CSGO is about getting those headshots, so it makes sense. Alright, I'm not even good at this game. I haven't played it in a while. And let it alone with the controller. 
But the aiming feels 100% fine, believe it or not. The aiming doesn't feel bad at all. In my opinion, it runs really well with the aiming. And I think you get like different weapons as you go. I don't know how this works. I think you have to get more kills to get different weapons. There was so many talks about this game actually even being updated so you could cross play with Steam players. I don't even know why that didn't happen. I think you can also play with your Steam account. You could actually link it up to your Steam. I don't know if that was the case. I think you could. And you could get like the achievements from Steam, I believe. Something similar. I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, there was talks about doing crossplay, but the support for it, it never came. Uh, I mean, Steam is popular in its, in its own right, so they probably didn't need to support it anymore. Um, one other thing was that um, it never got like any of the new UI updates or anything as well. So it's definitely weird. It just It just feels weird. I wouldn't say the controllers were too bad. People were complaining about the controllers. I mean, you would get used to it if you're a console gamer. Um, so, I think everybody would have gotten used to it easily. And it had all the game modes. It had the traditional game modes as well. So, that was a big up as well. It had the traditional game modes. I used to like playing this game mode where you get a kill and get a different weapon. It was really fun back in the day. Unfortunately, you can only play with bots now. As you guys can see, you can still get pretty decent amount of kills. I was actually getting pretty good with the controller uh, back in the day as well. I don't believe this came out. Graphics don't look too bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the same as the mouse and keyboard. I am by no means any type of pro as well. Honestly, I wish they would have kept the servers on. This was something that Steam should have kept the servers on, it, to be honest. There were a bunch of people playing it, though. I remember you could find a match in instant. I'm actually getting owned by the bots, believe it or not. And I even put them in medium, so they're not even in the most difficult setting. Kind of laggy. It doesn't feel like 60 FPS at all, though. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. <laughs> it doesn't feel like 60 FPS. Might be 1080p. But as you guys can see, yes, the aiming can get better. You can use the scope. Don't need the scope on that. So I think the winner is the whoever gets to the last weapon, I would assume. Ooh, with the snipe. It's kinda hard to snipe in it though. I still do it though. Definitely pretty awesome, as you guys can see there. Alright. So yeah, obviously my bot enemies aren't going to be like real humans or anything, so I can't really tell the difficulties uh, with other people playing, but as you guys can see, the aiming wasn't too bad. I wouldn't say it's the worst aiming. You probably do better with the mouse, but it wasn't the worst aiming. Now that I remember, I think this is why a lot of people criticize the game, because the aiming was bad or something like that, but it wasn't the worst. Nice. I think this game actually had kind of like aim assist. That's probably the reason why we're actually doing decent. Well, and I'm playing with bots as well. And the aim assist <laughs> definitely helps a lot.
think I'm only down to like two weapons and a knife. And we would win the match. There we go. Dual Beretta. Get a knife one and you should be good. Alright, the knife one has to be really difficult to get. There we go. We got him. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna try out is the keyboard and mouse. And depending on what PlayStation you have, um, it kind of sucks because my PlayStation literally only has like like my PlayStation literally only has like um, two areas where I can actually insert the mouse and the keyboard so it only has two USB so that was one of the things I didn't like about the PlayStation 3 that you had a PlayStation with only two USB slots which is kind of stupid um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, plug in my keyboard, and then we're going to go ahead and showcase some more keyboards. All right, so I finally am able to set up my keyboard and mouse to my PS3. Unfortunately, for some reason, my Alienware keyboard did not detect it in the game. It, the PlayStation 3 did detect it, but then again, that keyboard has like two USBs. I don't understand why it does have two different USBs. Um, when it's connected to the computer so that's probably the reason why it wasn't working earlier so if you have a two USB keyboard um, make sure to not use it on the PlayStation 3 if you want to play this so I'm really amazed how the PlayStation 3 actually detects your keyboards with no issue it allows you to to actually use it and I was surprised that with my wireless dongle on my mouse it was actually able to detect everything so it didn't have any issues when it came to detecting the game with the wireless mouse and the dongle. Unfortunately, my RGB colors are not working for some reason. So, I don't know what's going on with it. But, hey, if you have the mouse detection on there where it actually pops up on your screen, you should be set to go. Uh, that means everything will work smoothly. Despite me having to use another keyboard, which I didn't like that I had to do that, you're always going to have to get a different keyboard. Alright, so it detects it. So, some keyboards may be compatible, some may not be. This one is compatible. As you guys can see, everything here is working perfect. Um, you can uh, also change the mouse acceleration, so it gives you a lot of options. We're just going to play the same keyboard quick match and oops we can't connect to steam because everything is offline well the servers went offline all right so we're gonna go ahead and click medium bots and we're gonna click on a random map that it gave us so i don't know how this is gonna feel um i haven't played it with the keyboard and mouse ever on the playstation 3 even though i had it I think some people played it before and they had like the advantage over the, the casual player despite of it running at 30 fps because it doesn't feel like it's running at 60 fps so we'll see if we're good with it i'm not even that good with this so wow awesome they actually allow us to choose everything with the keyboard and mouse it's really cool though i'm not gonna lie it's really cool you can cycle through the weapons everything feels right and no the aiming ain't too bad on the keyboard i don't think there's auto assist with the uh, keyboard i mean why would the why would that be kind of harder for me I, I actually find it easier with the controller i'm not gonna lie some people are gonna be like what you find it easier with the controller oh yeah But then again, I'm playing with bots on medium settings, and they killed me. 
so one of the things is that um the layout isn't really optimized for the keyboard it's there and it works but you still get like commands from the playstation 3 if you guys saw that oh my god i totally suck i don't know if i can change the actual sensitivity of my mouse i know my mouse has like a button where you can change the sensitivity but yeah you can actually do that put it on the lowest right now yeah you, my mouse can adjust the sensitivity as well so if you have a mouse that has your sensitivity adjustment button it does indeed work and i think that would be a better option um if you're playing this to adjust it with your mouse sensitivity you can also do it from the menu but just like pc basically so even by entering x i don't know if i can actually skip that there's probably there's probably definitely a button there somewhere i mean it's it's all right it's controls that they've implemented so it doesn't surprise me that you can do this um but at the time it was kind of revolutionary because i don't think you could do it on the xbox version so the playstation 3 had like exclusive features correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure the xbox version couldn't have mouse and keyboard it wasn't supported don't understand why it wasn't supported for this game i may be wrong that's been a while but i feel i think from watching videos and researching that i think it wasn't available may be wrong so don't don't hit, hate me in the comment section if i'm wrong on that otherwise it seems to run pretty well i want to see how the shotgun is uh, it's pretty good too I want to get the sniper. You can do a bunch of stuff. You can even crouch as well. Everything just works well, I guess. Let's see if the escape button takes you to the main menu. Just like on PC. And it looks so different, like even from the main menu, everything's so different. Like CSGO has really changed on Steam PC. It looks really different. Even th though I feel like it's running at 30 FPS, it doesn't run bad. I don't feel like it's lagging or messing up my performance. Everything It's a steady 30 FPS. So that's good. The game run good. Fortunately though, come on, only being able to play with bots kind of does suck. You can't play it online with people, but it makes sense. I mean, who's playing CSGO or who's playing the PlayStation 3? Like, not the majority of the population is actually playing uh, CSGO on PlayStation 3. And the fact is, most PCs will be able to run CSGO without a problem. Uh, that's the good thing about this. Uh, CSGO can even run on the cheapest PCs and you can still get pretty decent performance. That's why I'm so surprised on the PlayStation 3. I just feel like it's 30 FPS. I'm not an expert with the FPS stuff, but it just feels like 30 FPS. It feels like 30 FPS um, and it doesn't feel faster than that. Oh, come on. Am I even going to get this a sniper? Uh, still like 10 kills. 25 kills away. So, yeah. If you want to be a real pro CSGO player, you got to play it on the PlayStation 3. I mean, it still runs, though. The game still runs. Um, back in the day, we didn't really have, like, performance options either way. If you wanted to change it. But I'm pretty sure they could have got it to run at 60 FPS. I don't know if it was like a development thing. Or I don't know. Maybe my eyes are tweaking. Can't see the 60 FPS. It just doesn't feel like it though. My god. How is it that he's still alive? That's what I understand. Like I shot that dude many times. 
Um, yeah, I'm no CSGO expert, so don't grill me in the comments and be like, you don't know how to play this game, you don't know how to play CSGO. Hell no, I don't know how to play. The, the main, even the bots are doing better than me, almost up to 18 kills already. Probably should have just done a regular match. Yeah, my aiming could be bad. Probably a uh, skill. <laughs> it's probably a skill issue. I wasn't good with that weapon at all, though. There we go. Probably not a skill issue. Probably a Johnny issue. Everybody loves using the AK-47 when I play the regular game on Steam. I was getting better, but I haven't played it in a while. I'm by no means an expert. Wow, he was gonna get me from far away. Where did that dude run? Oh, what the heck? There's already a bot with 20 kills, man. The bots sometimes just do some to stand there. Maybe it has a aim assist. Fourteen. That dude got twenty-two kills. The scope is easier to use on here, though. But the mouse is actually feels more natural than the controller. Got the og, the Oggy. Whoa! Wow, I really do suck at using this, huh? You probably hear my keyboard. It's probably going like, dude, stop using the keyboard sound with your microphone. Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? I'm getting owned by these bots, and it's starting to become a frustration. <laughs> I'm by no means a pro. I will say the graphics do look kind of jagged. I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, the graphics do look kind of jaggy lines and stuff. Oh, there we go. We got the sniper now. Now we're gonna beast. Okay, so from last time that I played on PC, it does feel the same. Kind of like the little quick scope. Not really quick scope, but you, you get what I mean. How people on PC play it. They're probably gonna make making fun of my performance. My performance right there was terrible, dude. What the hell? I didn't even manage to get that enemy. They managed to snipe him. Sniping works pretty well, though. I was just trying to do like a quick scope. Maybe it is quick scopes. Quick scoping. On top of that, I am a noob. No, 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 bro. Oh, no. Reach has gold knife level. So I think there's just one kill with the knife and that person will win. Either way, I had a fantastic time with it. Um, the bots definitely started owning me more, but hey, man, the game runs perfect.
So Bot Jerry has won the first match. So it does give you the escape there as well as you guys saw. Uh, my accomplishments, I think, were the stats. What? My overall stats is bad. This can't be right. I played this game more online back in the day. Probably offline. You're probably not even going to be able to get all the trophies of this game anymore since the service has gone offline. Anyways, guys, that pretty much sums up my experience with CSGO on the PlayStation 3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more content in the near future.